All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother of War by <clears throat> coming to you again with this truth. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations with the hopeful and humble elect, or to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there <clears throat> kicking this word in sincerity and truth across the four corners of the planet. All right, and shalom to you, sincere Akwathium that are out there that are listening and are uh, that have subscribed to this channel as well. You Akwathium, you sisters. Okay, so this is deliberately, you know, this message is deliberately to the nation of Israel, who are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Okay, so this pertains predominantly to you. Um, stand by. Let me throw airplane mode on real quick. Okay, so. Um, today's topic, what I want to talk about is something that I've uh, kind of been noticing through the spirit, you know, lately, as we are um, coming out of the uh, Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and we know this uh, this is a, uh, a heavy time through the spirit. Okay, we notice a lot of different things and a lot of a lot of energies are are stirred up because the Lord is making moves. Okay, but one thing that I have noticed is just the uh, the um, Salakia, the, the deal with people in the and 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 ruling their spirit, the you know the ability to rule their spirit, and just how they're all caught up in their feelings, okay? Like we say, you know, people are in their chest, okay? So today, um, you know, I'm gonna do a lesson on that. Hopefully, it's edifying. And we'll pull a few scriptures and then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get to work. Alright, so the first precept that I want to lead with is gonna be the book of Proverbs. Okay. <clears throat> it's gonna be the book of Proverbs 16, the 16th chapter, and the uh, 32nd verse. Okay. It says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit. Then, or, or it's like, and he that ruleth his spirit, then he that taketh the city, okay? Because we already know the first thing that happens when somebody gets upset, they immediately just start, you know, doing things that come to mind carnally, okay? Especially those that are, are, are without this face or without this faith and that are in, the, in, in, in a worldly mindset, okay? So... Ruling your spirit is a part is a big deal within this thing, man. Okay, because if you're just reactive to everything and you let your emotions take over you, you know that can be um, that can put you in a very bad spot, very bad situation. Okay, because you can either pop off at the mouth and say some things that you don't mean, or say some things that can that can seriously get you in trouble had you have just been quiet the whole time, man, and pondered on things before. You know, coming out and just uttering your whole damn mind. All right? You see what I'm saying? Because now in the times and the days that we're in right now, we can't afford to just get loose at the lips and, 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 and fly in the, in the seat of our pants, you know, and just, and just do as thou wilt all because you feel some type of way. You feel me? That's just not, that's just not prudent and it's not expedient in the times that we're in. All right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to start up. I'm going to start up at 8. It says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. All right. The patient in spirit. Because think about it. What is patience, man? All right. Standing still, man. Not moving around. Having... Having long suffering with something, man. Okay? Hear some things out first. And it could be any type of situation to where, you know, if someone is, is, is telling you something or, or the Lord may be dealing with you in a certain way and trying to inform you of something, man. But if you're hasty in the spirit, you're going to miss out. Or if you always got something to say, you're, you're going to miss out because you were supposed to be listening instead of speaking. Okay? Verse 9, here's the point. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. Alright? 
for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. All right. You have if you have this type of person, or if you're around a, a, a guy or a person that that's always got something to say or always blurts their mind out, uttering something, and it just gets pissed off all the time. You know, the, the scriptures tell you to remove yourself from that person. Do not have company or fellowship with an angry man. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you don't always want to be around somebody that's always a ticking time bomb, man. You know, you'll be out with that person and, and somebody may say something to that individual and it really may not be a big of a deal. And the next thing you know, this person is, is, is getting into it and getting into an altercation and then drags you into that into the altercation. Now it's, up, now it's on you all because you were in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong person. OK, same thing with females. And I'm pretty sure people know about this. You always have a, a female that, that's fly at the mouth, that's real emotional and just uttereth her whole mind, you know? What does she do? She'll pop off at the mouth, go off on a person, you know? And then and then the dude, you, you, you end up having to fight because of her, you know? This is not the time that we're in to be worrying about such trivial things, okay? And that's what I got on that one. Okay, I'm going to move on to my next precept. And this is not going to be very long. But I felt through the spirit that this needed to be needed to be said. It needed to be talked about. <clears throat> okay. This is the book of James 1. And I'm going to come down to 19. Okay, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak. And slow to wrath. Okay? And why is that? Because if, again, just like the preset we just brought out, if you have patience, man, you have patience, you'll be able to catch on to things to where the Lord may be trying to tell you something, man, that may save you from a bad situation or that may bring wisdom and understanding to you. Okay? For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the Most High. Okay, so <laughs> you got to stay the heck up out your feelings, man. Get up out your chest. This is bigger than you. Okay, this is all about the Lord's plan. It's not about how you feel. All right. Yeah, <laughs> man, we're going to move on. We'll move on to Luke. Luke the sixth chapter and the uh, I want to start at the 44th verse actually uh, now nah, I'm just gonna get to the point and go to 45 it says a good man out of good treasure of his heart okay and that word right there in heart that word heart right in that verse means la'ab or, or which means your mind okay all right, so we need the internet to pull that out. So cool, we're going to do that. So bear with me for just a second, Akian. All right, let me try that again. We're going to go into the interlinear. So we're going to prove that. Okay. Or heart, cardia. Okay. There we go. So the heart... You got A, that talks about the organ. B, talks about the center of physical and spiritual life. Of course, you know, we're going to look at the second part, which says the center and the seat of the spiritual life. The soul or mind, okay? As it is the fountain and seat of, of the thoughts and passions, desires, appetites, affections, purposes, endeavors, of the understanding you see your heart is 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 uh you know parallel to the mind there you go all right so let's go back to the let's go back to the uh the verse it says a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good okay and an evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh 
All right. So whatever is in your heart, whatever is on your mind, whatever you care so much about is going to come out of you, whether it be good or whether it's evil. Okay. And so here's the conclusion to the whole matter. We're going to go to the book of Colossians. All right. The fourth chapter. And we're going to end with this one. Okay. The fourth chapter and the sixth verse. Actually, I'm going to start up. I'm going to start up at uh, five. Okay. It says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. Okay. Let your speech be all the way with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Okay? If you are ruling your spirit, and you are not in your chest and all in your feelings, and you are with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you are, are dealing with people with righteousness and sincerity, then the Lord will give you that mouth where you will be able to communicate, you know what I'm saying? To the point to where no one will have anything to say or can gainsay against you. You will be able to reason with men. You'll be able to reason and, 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 and deal with people righteously, man. To where you'll be heard. And people will take and, and, and consider your counsel wise. Okay? But at the end of the day, man, I'm just going to say it. Fuck your feelings. Okay? Get down with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and have a good day. <laughs> and so with that, I hope this lesson's been edifying. And uh, before I get out of here, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders who rule well, who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the hopeful and humble elect.